Welcome to One Pizza Too Many. Cooking and unboxing videos. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel One Pizza Too Many Cooking and Unboxing Videos. Now today we are doing a versus video, our very first um, on equipment. So what do I have in front of me? I have two Kamados or barbecue grills. I have one from Landman that was sold in Lidl um, earlier last year and I have a La Hacienda Kamado and these were um, sold in Morrison's um, the year before. So I bought this last year and I've managed to pick this one up second hand on Facebook Marketplace so I thought I'd bring you a versus video. So let's get into this. But before we do make sure if you like what you've seen you give me that thumbs up and also you subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications bell so you know when I release a new video. Well first of all we have the Lidl Mini Kamado. This was made by Landman and this was sold at Lidl for around the £80 mark. Um, I know in Northern Ireland it was around the £100 mark. Now I love this Kamado. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It does the job that it says on the box and talking of box make sure you head over to my unboxing video of this actual Kamado um, it's one of the best videos that I've got for views at the minute um, it only took 15 minutes to set this up um, so head over and check that video out yourself so this Kamado itself doesn't come with any accessories apart from the grill so let's open it up okay and you'll think well what's he got in there so this is my piece of steel and also the grill does sit a little bit higher in this one because I've made a, a grill riser and again the video on how to make these homemade grill risers and pizza steels and deflector plates are on my channel so originally um, the grill for this particular Kamado is 26 centimeters wide and the wind is picking up. <laughs> uh, it's 26 centimeters wide and the firebox itself is 21 and a half centimeters wide and it is 11 centimeters deep and this will give you enough space for a sort of two two and a half hour slow cook and um, after that you will need to top it up. Of course, like all tomatoes, it's got the bottom vent and it also has the top vent and the daisy wheel and this just pushes on with some felt, a felt gasket. So let me put this grill back on. Then, the height of this particular Kamado comes in at 55 centimeters with it on the stand and the overall diameter is 34 centimeters so nice and compact it's got a temperature gauge on the front and it also has a bamboo handle and the temperature gauge I did calibrate this um, and check how accurate it was and it was pretty accurate I have to say it's, it, was bang on. I've used this in live cooking sessions with my students um, online. I have done all sorts of cooking on this. I've done nan breads on the pizza steel. I've even done a pizza. Check out this video in the link above me on cooking a pizza on this particular Kamado. So it's really really versatile. However when I saw this come up for sale I thought I can't miss this. I mean look at it. For starters between the two there's uh, 
there's no competition on which one looks the best Kamado in my eyes. Um, the La Hacienda um, definitely wins on that front compared to the Little Mini. Now, does it win on any other points? You might like a smaller barbecue. You might be taking this away with you and around. If so, this one might be the better barbecue. However, it doesn't have carry handles, whereas this one does. So let's open this one up. And straight away, you will see this one comes with a grill riser and a pizza stone or deflector plate. So we'll take this off. And we will measure. So we have the grill. And the difference also with this grill, it does lift up to allow you space to add more fuel, more coal, more lump wood into this during the cook. Now, the grill diameter on this one is 31 and a half centimeters. So compared to the little Kamado, which was 26, um, you've got an extra four and a half centimeters all, all the way around um, of cooking space. So let's hold this grill so you can see it's quite it's quite a big difference. The other difference is this comes with this deflector plate which slides in to these little holders which I think is a really neat trick. It means you don't have to have any accessory racks or anything like that. All is held on this grill. And I've noticed that my pizza steel that I made for this one will also fit as the deflector plate. So I'll be able to use this pizza steel as the deflector plate in this one and then stick this grill riser back on. and I'll be able to do pizzas on top of there. Brilliant. So let's have a look at the sizes in the La Hacienda. So the fire basket itself is 28 and a half centimeters wide and it's 15 and a half centimeters deep so you are going to get a lot more um, fuel into this particular Kamado so it will last longer during the cook and it's also easier to add fuel into this one during the cook. The overall width of the ceramic on this one is 39 centimeters but with the handles you need to allow 58 centimeters. Then the overall height because of the way this sits on the stand, it sits a lot lower in the stand, whereas you've got a lot more air gap here. Which does mean that it sits at a similar height to the little one. So you're looking at 60 centimetres in height for the La Hacienda. Now the handle on this one, okay, is metal, okay, so that might warm up, I don't know yet because I've not even used this one yet um, compared to this one which is bamboo. Now it should mean that this will outlast this handle. It does have a bigger temperature thermometer as well on the La Hacienda compared to the Landman and like the Landman the daisy wheel comes off and it's got a felt gasket um, and it does feel just a little bit better built um, the metal on this, this one is heavy and this is sort of cast whereas this one isn't cast. So it's personal preference but I quite like that. Um, so let's spin them round. So you'll see that they're both spring assisted so when you open the springs retract okay so that's when you then drop them down, they don't 
slam down and smash okay and the same with this one so they have a real nice sort of motion to the opening and closing I will say the springs on this one are a lot more heavy duty than uh, this particular one and I do feel like the metal work on this La Hacienda is slightly better than the Lidl and the overall sort of finish um, to this La Hacienda is I would say a next step up from the Lidl Camado. So there we have the difference in size. So then finally price. The price point of these Camados are budget price Camados for good reason. Now the size is the first factor okay you're not going to be paying eight nine hundred pounds for a Camado this size like you would for one of the big Camados down there at the front so little price point this at 80 pounds in the UK and I bought this brand new and that was a bargain price generally these retail for 120 to 150 in the UK um, so little did a really good deal on these and and so much so people were buying these up and um, queuing up waiting for these to go on sale so if you see them on sale this year get in and definitely get one of these I would not rule out one of these little Camados whereas the La Hacienda so Morrison's were selling these in 2018 for 150 pounds okay so you know 70 pounds more than the mini little Camado nearly double the price is it double the Camado I wouldn't say it was double the Camado I would say however it is the, the next step up from the little one now again Morrison's I don't know how they were selling them for that price because currently on the second hand market these particular barbecues um, are going anywhere between 100 and 350 350 um, <clears throat> pounds so you know price point of Morrison's again if these ever come up for sale again I would definitely recommend getting one for sort of two or three reasons the first one is the way it looks it looks absolutely fantastic the third reason it comes with the deflector plate um, and the grill riser the third reason is the size of it it's just that little bit bigger than the little mini Camado that a family could easily have this as their only Camado they won't need three like I've got here let me know in the comments below if you've got either one of these Camados what do you cook on it which one would you say is the best Camado here out of these two mini Camados let me know your thoughts and obviously give me a thumbs up and make sure you do subscribe to the channel and you hit that notifications bell so you know when I release a new video. Until next time everyone, thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this versus video. One pizza too many.